Yeah, Divine Feminine, you really are a star. And with the star in reverse coming up in your conflict, currently, this is just a reminder, okay? You have the Ace of Wands twice. That to not let inner conflict or anything from your past prevent you from growing from recognizing your star potential. Embrace new ideas, okay? And continue to be inspired. Continue to be enthusiastic about what's to come, okay? Get ready to swing from that chandelier to fly like a bird in the sky and to live like tomorrow doesn't exist. It's beautiful, okay. Nothing's gonna stop you, nothing. Okay, so your action. <laughs> the emperor, the emperor was on the bottom of the deck in reverse, okay, when we first laid out our um, spread. So Divine Feminine, this could be your energy, okay? A lot of you are in your power. You are working on several businesses. You are, you know, you know, you know, um, exercising leadership in your life. You're grounded. Okay? Aries energy here. Like I said, a lot of fire. Um, this is also Divine Masculine energy. So Divine Masculine could be showing up for your reading, trying to make a stand. Okay. Um, because in your current energy, you know, there is some fire energy coming in with a quick message about, you know, Ten of Pentacles. Someone coming in, um, speaking of you being their complete fulfillment, wanting to build something solid materially with you or you passionately defending your stability someone letting go with the hanged man okay of um past conditionings willing to sacrifice something old to create something new clarified by the prince of cups someone wants to heal and be healed knight of cups was in reverse clarifying the um the moon so i do believe that with the energy of this full moon in aquarius that someone is changing their ways someone's going from a king of cups in reverse to a king of cups upright okay your current energy three of wands more fire six of cups past life energy soul connection or nostalgia thinking about the past being stuck in between the past and you know you know you know charging forward with this ace of wands energy into new inspiring um you know uh paths and then that leads us to your action okay very well this could be you divine feminine okay um just taking control of your life okay balancing out your masculine energy just being in your masculine energy having complete control of your masculine energy masculine energy being the calm within the chaos of not just your life but others around you people are looking to you for inspiration people are looking to you for leadership and guidance exuding that strength exuding that protective nature providing nature okay powerful successful but i do pick this up as divine masculine coming into your reading taking a stand saying that okay i see you in your power i'm working on myself i have done the work i have went from a prince of cups to a king of cups you know in reverse i'm working hard at trying to <clears throat> and 
acknowledge its past life connection, dropping my swords, my trickery, my betrayal. Because that did come up in the conflict, okay? And we did have the Five of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck, okay? Someone wants to come out of this energy. Someone wants to renew and connect and to reune. And someone wants forgiveness, okay? All right, so yeah, this could definitely be a Divine Masculine or an Aries energy um, taking a stand, wanting to take control and to be an emperor for you okay someone wants to be the dominant force in your life divine feminine you have the tower in reverse also Okay, so this could be um, a Divine Masculine who has experienced a tower. Okay, Mars is Aries energy as well. And this could be also considered Scorpionic energy. Like, so Divine Masculine has, um, could have Aries in their chart or Aries Black Lilith or something like that. Um, but someone is... Um, a Divine Masculine has come out of a tower moment and has transformed. Um, and it's ready to remove a mask. Ready to take off the mask. Masks off. And um, something has been shaken up and someone is out of their comfort zone completely someone's ready to let their ego fall completely away a divine masculine is ready to let his ego fall completely away and if this is your energy divine feminine this is you allowing everything to fall and allowing yourself to get past reluctance and you're not trying to avoid things anymore like i said from the very beginning with that energy of reminiscing in the past and wanting closure or wanting something to be brought to fruition but at the same time ready to jump headfirst into the future and into something new you have been reluctant okay um to move forward because of something from your past and with this tower moment here if this is your energy with this um emperor then you are ready to allow um change okay but something it's going to shock you, Divine Feminine, during this period of this full moon or anytime, sometime after. Maybe this already happened, but there has been some, you know, reluctance, but no longer. And if this is a Divine Masculine coming forward, oh, there's been an upheaval. There has been an awakening and there has been a, sh a change. A Divine Masculine is no longer... In denial he knows exactly what this connection is and they're stepping out of their comfort zone masks off and someone has been broken down okay someone has been broken down and they're coming in more earth energy here king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn 
if this is your energy, Divine Feminine, your action is just that you are in your power, you are powerful, you are a leader, you are um, protective, you are the leader of your world, you are letting all of the changes happen in your life, and you are just solid as a rock in your finances, and you are... Um, just embodying this king of pentacles energy but if this is the divine masculine coming in he's letting off his mask go he's letting go of ego he has been shaken up by an awakening and he is no longer ready to allow anyone else to come in and take control of this empire heavy earth energy here with the king of pentacles Pentacles, okay. The King of Pentacles is power, inheritance, influence, strength. This divine masculine wants to come in stable with a completely stable offer because they have been shaken up and they're no longer willing to allow anyone else to take control of what's theirs. Of their empire and they are coming in solid okay and if this is not divine masculine this is just you divine feminine solid as a rock beautiful we're gonna just clarify that and then we're gonna go into what is not being said by divine feminine wow bottom of the deck is um seven of pentacles so hard work fruits of your labor um, rewards are coming in. Someone's willing to invest in this connection. Divine Feminine, you're just willing to invest in your purpose, in your businesses, in your path. And um, you will profit from all of your efforts. <clears throat> Clarify the Emperor, please. Oh my God, literally I cannot make this up. Oh my God, the King of Pentacles came out to clarify the Emperor. The King of Pentacles was already out in your action for this period, solid. There is a earth energy, male earth energy that is coming in solid. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Or like I said, Divine Feminine, you are just solid. You're solid in your actions. You're solid in your money. You're solid in your businesses. You're solid in your everything. You're just solid, okay? The only conflict is in your mind, okay? We had the Eight of Swords. We had the Five of Swords. This is amazing, okay? The King of Pentacles came out to clarify the Emperor. This doesn't get more solid, okay? Bottom of the deck the nine of swords this was in your pre-shuffle energy okay stuck right there in between the ace of cups and the two of cups somebody's coming out of this depression in this this mercurial um gemini energy someone's coming out of indecision and sleepless nights someone knows what they have to do to solidify their empire Wow. Clarify the tower in reverse, please. Clarify the tower in reverse. Clarify the tower in reverse. We are in over an hour. So, of course, guys, <laughs> I never make short readings, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, clarifying the tower in reverse. I knew this was not a bad tower. And the tower came out in the pre-shuffle energy too. And I said it wasn't a bad tower. It was just something shocking about to happen that you knew and you felt it pulling at you, but you just didn't know what or where it was coming from. So to clarify, this tower is the Nine of Cups, okay? Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy here. This is complete 
fulfillment. Okay, so whatever is shaking you up, Divine Feminine, with this Emperor energy and this King of Pentacles energy and whatever you are just allowing to happen, it's a good thing, okay? If this is Divine Masculine coming in, he's coming in solid, King of Pentacles. He's taking off the masks with this tower. Um... He's allowing the ego to fall away and he's acknowledging that somebody is Divine Masculine's complete and utter wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. And if this is your energy, Divine Feminine, you're in your power. You're allowing the changes in your life to shake you up. And you are letting the change catapult you into unimaginable happiness okay but i really do take that this is a masculine energy we have the airy I and mean, we have the aries we have the emperor and we have the king of pentacles twice in the action okay so i do believe that the divine masculine is bringing in a solid awful offer he's letting down his guard he's taking off the mask he's stripping the ego and he is proclaiming um and acknowledging a nine of cups connection divine masculine wants divine feminine here to know he just came up in the action that he wants to bring in a solid offer he's not willing to let anyone else rule his empire that you divine feminine are his complete satisfaction happiness he wants harmony with you he's working hard okay to bring that harmony to both of your lives and he will never feel a sense of accomplishment until he does that king of pentacles came out to clarify the emperor and we're going to clarify the king of pentacles oh my god the lovers is on the bottom of the deck okay so that's what it is okay the divine masculine um is making a head over heart decision or he hasn't in the past made a head over heart decision um and that is something that he regrets um the lovers okay represent the sign uh it signifies a force that binds two entities together to create wholeness The lovers ask you to have an open communication with yourself and examine your motives and values when contemplating which path to take. The divine masculine, okay? Or you, divine feminine. Because, you know, in the beginning, we have the ocean, the Mediterranean, feeling so deep, okay? Um, circling around. We have that, you know, stuck in the middle of that Mary J. Blige song, um, Reminisce. Don't you feel the magic, the mysteries in the air? Let's go down to lover's lane with the love we share. And then the other energy of wanting to swing from the chandelier and fly like a bird in the sky and, you know, live like tomorrow doesn't exist. So being so stuck about what to do about this past life energy. But the divine masculine or you divine feminine are feeling the separation, okay? Okay. Whether you're in separation with your divine masculine or not, um, even if you have reconciled or you have been in union or you have had some sort of communication, there still is like a, a separation. There still is a imbalance. OK, um, there is still some tension and conflict and it's like disconnection. But with the emperor and the king of pentacles. 
that is changing. Someone wants to come in with a solid offer. Someone is letting off. They're letting down their mask, letting go of ego because you are their eight of cups. Complete happiness and satisfaction. Okay. And someone wants to come out of separation. Someone wants to really work on this connection, this divine twin flame collection connection. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Clarify the King of Pentacles and divine feminine action. This period. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Judgment on the bottom of the deck. Someone is dealing with some karma. Someone is coming out of trying to end some cycles. Someone may have been fighting their um, transformation, um, denying their divinity, denying their higher calling, and they regret that. Okay, wow. <laughs> to clarify, the King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So, someone wants to bring a solid offer of love in. Someone is not willing to let someone else or anything stop them from being the ruler of their world. And this could be you, Divine Feminine. Like I said, you are balanced, okay? You are the emperor. You are in that power, all right? You are going to be solid in your actions moving forward. You are allowing things to just happen. You are facing um the past you are creating solid foundations and you do want balance and love but this is divine masculine he is no longer allowing anyone else to be the controller of his life he wants to rule his empire he thinks of you as solid family um you're his complete satisfaction with the nine of cups and then clarifying the king of pentacles is the ace of cups okay compassion this divine masculine wants solid love he wants solid love with you um purity they want to go back to pure times they want to go back to the innocence they're they're having thoughts of the past and um this could be you too but um they want a new beginning they want to be vulnerable so funny because this, this ace of cups did come out kind of like halfway you know but either way with the ace of cups coming out to clarify the king of pentacles uh, someone doesn't want to be vulnerable someone wants to be vulnerable they don't want to be in separation they don't want things to end they want to let out all of their emotions they're so tired of repressing them they want to gift you or someone wants to gift everything that they've had bottled inside they want to gift it and to let it be known and once they let it out it will not stop pouring out it will come out and like i said it will spill out like the mediterranean sea okay this love okay this abundance love this compassion with this within this connection okay wow so we're gonna go ahead and get into what's not being said what's not being said by the divine feminine divine spirit what's not being said by the divine feminine not being said by the divine feminine it's not being said by the divine feminine what's not being said by the divine feminine what's not being said by the divine feminine what's not being said by the divine feminine bottom of the deck five of cups wow 
What's not being said by the Divine Feminine? Is that there has been a lot of loss in neglect? The divine feminine is afraid of failure <clears throat> in a situation. The thought of failure, whether that's in career, purpose, or in a love situation, is it brings the Divine Feminine great despair. Sometimes the Divine Feminine remembers the past and think about all of this waste, all of this spillage of love that was lost third party situations that they were put in but the divine feminine has accepted the past and yeah there is a lot of nostalgia in regards to those moments but the divine feminine really has moved forward sometimes it's hard to see these two cups that are still standing okay Sometimes it's hard to forgive, but there's hope. And that's what's not being said by the Divine Feminine. That's the bottom of the deck energy. <clears throat> okay. What's not being said? We got the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, the Alchemist in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what's not being said by Divine Feminine is that the Divine Feminine is ready for a whole new world. She is ready to commune and to blossom new friendships she's ready to go back to who she or he used to be divine feminine is revisiting their passions their creativity rekindling special friendships that may have been neglected The Divine Feminine is seeking pleasure in all aspects of life. No longer focusing on the things that stifled her creativity, things that made her feel disconnected. She's no longer wanting to overindulge in anything. She wants balance in her life. She wants happiness. She wants to share her world and share her, her joy with someone who deserves it. Out came the three of swords in reverse with this card <clears throat> so divine feminine what's not being said is that she's ready to forgive someone okay this is you know cancer Pisces Scorpio energy with the three of cups and of course um, Aquarius Libra Gemini with the three of swords in reverse Divine Feminine is, has moved past pain and grief. 
and she is recovering. She's gained clarity on many situations in her life and she has a whole new perspective on certain situations that really caused a lot of grief in her past. She has went really deep within, found introspection on a lot of issues and in some instances, she's ready to forgive. She's ready to forgive herself and possibly ready to forgive someone else. And the Divine Feminine wants happiness. She's ready for happiness. The Divine Feminine may be holding on to something. I do believe that Divine Feminine is really not being selfish, but really holding a lot of her next moves really close to her chest, to their chest. Divine Feminine is holding the cards close to their chest, okay? Taking control of their finances and their material goods. The Divine Feminine is working on many different projects and making headway in different avenues, but not speaking on every project that they are embarking on because they have learned from the past about who, who was that? They can trust and who they can't trust and um, just, sorry, <laughs> some sort of like fly or something. Okay, I'm so sorry about that guys. But they are learning who they can trust and who they have to just kind of swat like I just swatted that gnat. <laughs> you know, who they can let in on their ideas, okay? So the Divine Feminine is building their stability in secret almost. They're holding on tight to their possessions and the things that they love and the people that they love and they're exerting a lot of control um, and they're just focused on their security at this time also the alchemist came out okay in reverse that's like my magician card here divine feminine what is not being said is that they're in their head they are thinking very meticulously about their future in the past there may have been lack of planning there may have been procrastination and some may have felt a little powerless to creating security in their life but what the divine feminine is saying with this card is that either she's aware that someone may be trying to manifest her Someone's trying, she's the divine feminine is aware that someone may be trying to manifest their energy into their lives. Okay, the alchemist in reverse usually I pick up on you know work being done or someone doing something manipulative. Um, 
even if it's in their mind, good intentions, someone is manipulating the situation, Divine Feminine is um, not saying that they're aware that possibly a, a King of Wands energy, a King of Wands energy may be um, doing some spell work or trying to manipulate A situation to hold on to the divine feminine and the divine feminine is not saying that they know they're aware of it because this king of wands energy is a masculine energy okay coming in and they are a little ruthless okay the, you know king of wands typically it's a leader, very intuitive, respected, and mature, driven. But in reverse, they can be intolerant. They can be ruthless, impatient, impulsive. So there may be a masculine energy in the Divine Feminine's life that is trying to hold on to the Divine Feminine with A little bit of manipulation may not be trusting their intuition or letting things happen naturally because of their own fears because of all of the past pain that they may have caused divine feminine because of the fact that divine feminine has moved past the pain and um, is ready for some you know, real fulfillment and some celebration and forward movement. Um, so maybe uh, Divine Feminine is not saying that they are aware of this, this, this um, slightly ruthless um, energy coming in and that there may be some manipulation going on in regards to that. Now, like I said, if that's not the energy for everyone this is just the divine feminine playing her cards and her keeping her coins close to her chest okay um to protect her themselves and to focus on trusting their intuition and moving from the past where they did not have control over their stability they may have been some codependency issues and stuff of that nature going on. So Divine Feminine, what's not being said is that they are co-creating with the universe to secure their stability and to manifest what it is that they need to manifest so that they can have the abundance and the security that they, that they know they deserve. Divine Feminine, you're working with all the elements, okay? Earth, air, fire, and water. You have everything that you need to manifest. All of your goals and all of your desires will be revere, revealed and discovered when you focus on your creative abilities and your skill. You have the confidence and you have the ability when you focus to co-create with the universe, okay? So, like I said, with it being in reverse, Divine Feminine is not saying that. They know in the past that they have felt powerless and no longer will that be an issue because they are owning their power. And like I said, Divine Feminine may be just saying that there may be some manipulative energy coming in with the King of Wands, you know, surrounding finances and some manipulation with the alchemist in reverse here. Okay. I want to go ahead and clarify the alchemist in reverse. Clarify the alchemist, please. Strength. Yes. Could be a Leo. Okay. A Leo energy here, but this is Leo season. So... I'm just taking that definitely during this rest of this Leo season and the month of August going into September that there's going to be um, massive strength found, okay? Um, there's going to be a lot of success in finances. Um, 
there's going to be an inner calm, courage, and Divine Feminine, you're going to have take control over your life. You are working hard behind the scenes to manifest what it is that you deserve. And what's not being said is that you are building your strength and that you are overcoming many obstacles in silence and all of your hard work is going to pay off and your harvest is coming in. What's not being said, clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. What's not being said? What's not being said is that you are the co-creator of your universe, Divine Feminine. You're ready for celebrations. You are ready for forgiveness. You've moved past pain. You have swords. And you have the strength you need. You're working behind the scenes to co-create with the universe. You're aware of manipulation that's going on behind the scenes. You are aware that someone's trying to manifest you into their lives, that there may be some manipulation going on with finances and pentacles. And to clarify the king of wands, we got the judgment in reverse. So yeah, there is an impatient energy, um, masculine energy around you right now. And um, it came out with judgment. So yeah. This is secrets, okay? Um, this is, um, you know, the correspondent of the judgment is Pluto. Scorpionic energy here and secrets. Pluto is currently in retrograde. So, yeah. There is um, a masculine energy possibly around you that you are aware of that may be um, doubting their own divinity and denying their own rebirth, um, rejecting this higher calling, okay? Or they may have in the past, but um, what's not being said is that you are aware that this particular energy is getting stronger. But may still be operating with a little bit of manipulation and working in some of their past, you know, conditionings. But you are aware that this um, King of Wands energy is um, frustrated, okay? And that there may still be some manipulation going on. But your action is all good. You have an emperor coming forward. You have King of Pentacles clarified twice. Nine of Cups and Ace of Cups, okay? So this is just what's not being said. You are aware that there is some, you know, masculine energy um, that's, um, you know, possibly still manipulating or trying to manifest you into their world without fully allowing themselves to do the work. Um, you are aware that there may be some blockages, there is someone that's doubting themselves and that's being stagnant. Um, yeah. You're aware that there has to be a full rebirth, okay? And a renewal before there can be any freedom in the situation. And that's what's not being said by Divine Feminine. They are aware that there's a divine masculine who wants to come in as the emperor with a solid, solid um, offer, proclaiming their nine of cups and ace of cups. But divine feminine, what's not being said is that they're aware that the same masculine energy that wants to offer this nine of cups, ace of cups, and come in and this energy 
may still be operating in this energy. Okay? And that's what's not being said by the Divine Feminine. But Divine Feminine, you need to be aware that, going back to our earlier energy, you have the power to remain in balance with your emotions and that ultimately someone wants to come in and bring you this two of cups everything in divine timing because everything is aligning someone is taking off their masks Someone is letting go of ego. Okay? Someone wants to bring balance and reconciliation. And someone, Divine Feminine, you or your person, who, the one who showed up for this reading, <laughs> Emperor, Divine Masculine, someone is ready for a DNA upgrade Someone is ready to change their karma. Someone is ready to create a whole new roadmap in their ancestral line. And it's going to start with this connection. That's what's not being said. Beautiful reading. Let's see if the divine has anything... For divine feminine. Oops, bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's a Virgo energy here earth energy divine feminine this is you okay everything and everyone in the universe is attracted to you during this period like i said i love this nine of pentacles card i always say it even the animals okay are attracted to you you're in your power you're focused okay one pinnacle away from complete fulfillment which is what you got in your current energy Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Divine, can we get a message? A divine message for Divine Feminine, please. What can we leave the Divine Feminine with? What can we leave the Divine Feminine with? What message? Ace of Wands in reverse, Justice. Seven of Wands. Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. All these pentacles okay the divine is telling you divine feminine to let go and try not to hold on to anything that is causing you four pentacles two of pentacles indecision okay you are moving past the days of when you held on to things that didn't bring you clarity To things that made you feel uncertain. You're seeking balance. No longer dealing with anything that's irresponsible, neglectful, unpredictability. You're letting all that go. You are ready to discover 
what's out there for you. New opportunities. Okay. We got the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands in reverse. You already got the Ace of Wands twice upright in this reading, okay? In your um, conflict and action. So the universe is reminding you, okay, that these are the things that will cause delays, okay? Holding on to indecisions, you know, holding on to things that don't bring you clarity, holding on to things that are unpredictable. Those are the things that will bring Ace of Wands in reverse, delays, endings, you know, that'll keep you unmotivated. Now's the time for you to embrace your enthusiasm, to travel, explore, and be creative. Because you are moving forward, Seven of Wands, okay? You are prepared for the challenge. You're defending everything you've worked hard for. And you're justified in your actions during this period. All right? Justice is yours. Justice is being brought to you right now. This could actually be some sort of, you know, court proceedings or something of that nature, but justice is yours, Divine Feminine. You're fighting for justice or someone is feeling that you deserve justice and they are going to be defending you, okay? Defending your honor. Someone is going to be challenged and this could be you or someone in your life but they are going to be defending you and they're going to be bringing you balance they're going to be bringing you justice truth fairness and equality I just want to go ahead and clarify that justice card. Because I think that's so important. Remember, what's not being said by Divine Feminine is that you're ready to move forward. You're ready to celebrate accomplishments. You are ready to move past three of swords energy to forgiveness and clarity you are playing your cards close to your chest you are holding on to your stability you are finding the strength to co-create with the universe and you're also aware of manipulation and things around you but you're keeping everything close to your chest because the ultimate success is coming your way and justice is coming to you and you're aware of this that's what's not being said please clarify justice card for divine feminine wow Clarifying the Justice card is the star. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. Justice reveals that an outcome will be determined from the decisions you have made. It is a reminder that 
future actions can be changed by the lessons you learn in the present, it is an indicator that a decision needs to be made. Truth, fairness, equality. You are someone's star, divine, feminine. You are a star in general. It's time to step into your power and own it. The star is the light you seek when you enter a new phase of life. She reminds you that you are connected to the universe and all the wisdom you seek is available. The star shows you that now is the time to embrace new ideas and growth. Renewal, hope, and clarity is coming to you, Divine Feminine, because you deserve it. Keep pouring out your water and watering the universe. Because everything that you give comes back to you tenfold. You will be tested. Your faith will be tested. But it's all to catapult you into the star that you are. During this period of this full moon in Aquarius, and the star card is ruled by Aquarius, be prepared for some radical new ideas, some shocking discoveries, clarity and wish fulfillment beyond your wildest dreams. The choice is up to you, Divine Feminine, and we all know that challenging choices can take on a heavy burden. We have to make these choices every day of our lives. Every day of the year, we have to come face to face with these decisions and these tests. But I'm here to remind you that even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember, you'll be fine. Nothing can stop what's truly divine. <laughs>